protecting cats out here are a whole bunch of horsepower and not great handling through the corners. You can get them through the corner, but it takes a lot of work. But man, the straightaway speed on these things, you just open them up and let them eat. I love this class. The old Relic Mod 800 Free Air, a main event coming down here to the stripe to kick it off. Right there, that number 18 sled, you can see there's four cylinders of fury setting underneath the hood. This, I love this class. I need to sponsor this next year. Paul Diefenthaler sitting to the outside. 35 is quick through the corners. That's where he's going to have to try and make up his time because his straightaway might be a little bit hopeless here against some of these King Cats. Watch this. Oh, Paul trying to jump. He knows he's got to go, go, go. He'll race him down into the corner, try to be the first one. Keith Bedore punches the throttle. On. Now watch, he'll be slow. That number 18 sled through the corner. As soon as he gets pointed straight, open it up. Boom, baby. Hot pursuit of the number 35. Reeled off a lot of distance right there. Diefenthaler's got a run and gun. He's down on the sled trying to get through the corners. We got one stopped on the back shoot. Red flag coming out. Unfortunately, that was the one we were waiting on coming out of the paddock area. Red flag coming out. We do not score a lap into the book, so it'll be a reset, a complete restat. So unfortunately, Brandon Wheeling the 9X sled, the one that was off its pace back there, and he's going to need an assist to get back into the paddock. Yeah, These he, sled's not exactly the lightest things either. Yeah, he seemed to have lost power, and it looked like he was trying to get to the inside, and it didn't go. So Polaris. Bent. Fenthaler has got the best cornering sled out there. The Polaris, the number 35, trying to hold off the King Cats. Polaris and the 121 as well. So the two Polaris and the three Artie Cats going at it here on the old 1971 and older. These things are as old as I am, for crying out loud. That's a little bit scary. 50-year-old <laughs> sleds. Getting ready to cut him loose. Green flag comes out. Skis up, launched down the inside. Paul Diefenthaler's trying to get the Polaris down in there quick. And onto the back straightaway. Watch Bedore on the number 18 is right here. He'll punch the throttle and she comes to life down the back straightaway. Strap a cape on him. Superman down into the corner. He'll slow it way down. Get that big old heavy beast through there. And he is right there with the number 35. Diefenthaler up front running the gun. And Bedore back to the whip again. Straightaway speed, tremendous. He just kind of hangs on, grits his teeth, and hopes for the best. Down into turn number one and two. Diefenthaler now within about four sled lengths. And here comes Bedore. Open her up. Let her eat. Down the back shoot. Diefenthaler out front. Bedore tiptoes down into turn number three. Green flag still displayed. Five laps the total distance. Diefenthaler well within striking distance of the King Cat. Top two have broken away from the rest of the field. Forget about the battle back behind. Carlson's hanging on to third. Mog, and here it comes. Keith Bedore, hang on to it. Keep that left side down. Bedore back to the throttle again. Reels in the number 35 into the corner. We're going to see a green flag yet again. Five laps the total distance. Bedore's keeping him right there as he tries to get through the corner. Defenthal running the gun and watch this right to the inside. Draws up on Diefenthaler. Paul forced up wide. Keith Bedore through the corner onto the back shoot. Open her up. Bye bye. Diefenthaler left by the wayside as Paul got, he literally got sucked the oxygen out of the uh, carburetors on the 35 and shut it down, I think. Here comes Bedore to the white flag. Down the front straightaway, just hunkers down. And into the corner. Man, that thing's got some straightaway speed. Hang on to it. Whoa, mama. Had her way up there on that right ski. They are hard to corner, but look at it go on the straightaway. How much fun would that be? It's down into turn number three and four. Bedore going to bring it out. Checkered flag. Hang on to it tight, Todd. He might blow it right out of your hands. Here comes Keith Bedore. Shoom. Wow. Picks up the win. What a run for Keith Bedore. That is so awesome. I love that. That thing is probably, not probably, it is my favorite sled that comes out here and races with us. Paul Diefenthaler hangs on to the number two spot. Good job by him. David Carlson to 121. The other players finishes out third on the field. Then Keith Mogg, Wayne Mogg, rounding out those top five sleds out of this A main event for Relic Mod 800 Free Air. Keith's coming back around here. The Ultimax Performance Belts by Timken Victory Lane for a photo opportunity with Brian and 
pick up his checkered flag. Wow, what a run. That was so awesome. Yeah, usually he has that, uh, you know, uh, speed down the straightaways, and then he loses it in the corner. So, I mean, now he's got the win. This is so awesome. Does indeed. A little slapper. Give him a big round of applause. Woohoo! Jump up and down! He has to curl. He curls a tremendous amount of weight just to be able to hang on to the handlebars of that thing. Yeah, he still has a helmet on, but I can, I can see the smile under there from ear to ear. He's got just this like, great big smile. So way to go, Keith Bedour. The way that thing takes off, he needs to put, get a Hans device and put it on backwards, keep his head <laughs> facing forward. Right? Relic Mod 800, free our winner.